Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to set up TSA HA on multiple HA data databases in one instance along with VIP, virtual IP and ACR which is automatic client routing. So in this uh, demo, what I'll do is I have one instance called DB2P. I got two nodes called DB1 and DB2. I have already installed the DB2 and I'm using 10.5 FP5, fixed pack 5. I have installed it on DB1 and DB2. I have got two databases, HADB1 and HADB2. The uh, HADR is active between DB1 and DB2. So that's what I have done. So uh, <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure using DB2 haiku command and using this particular file, I'm going to configure the cluster on TSA cluster on standby first and then on primary. The <coughs> configuration that I got is, <coughs> sorry, I got 1.101 on DB1 and 1.102 on DB2. I'm going to, because I'm having two databases, I will have separate VIP for the first database and separate VIP for the second database. So I'm going to configure two VIPs. So if HADB is active or, or primary on DB1, then VIP will point to DB1. If HADB1 is pointing to uh, node 2 then VIP will point to DB2. So VIP so because I have got two databases so it is possible that my HADB1 is active on DB1 while HADB2 is pointing on DB2. So if this is active on DB1 then this VIP will point to DB1 if, and if this is pointing to DB2 then this VIP will point to this particular node. So uh, this is how the if I had only one VIP then potentially it will point to active database which database it will point to so that is why we need two VIPs so one VIP per database and once we are done with the VIP I'll show you how to configure the ACR automatic client routing <coughs> so uh, let's get started uh, what I've got here okay so let me clear the screen okay and I have I have already connected to two nodes Okay, let me clear the screen as well. So I got DB1 and DB2. So this is my DB1 and this is my DB2. So what I'll do now is I'll just run this some basic commands DB2 level and I'll show you I got two databases. So my I'm using 10.5 fixed pack 5 and I got these two databases called HADB1 and HADB2. So these are my two databases. And you see right now uh, the alternate server is not there. So ACR is not enabled. Here also if you see I got these two databases called HADB1 and HADB2. So next command that I am going to run is this particular small script which will show that on primary, on primary uh, or on DB1 both the databases are primary. So on DB1 so database name HADB1 so you can say here the database name is HADB1 and that is primary peer connected and database name is HADB2 that is primary peer connected. So we can see that on DB1 the on DB1 both are primary and if I run the same command on DB2 clear the screen and if I run it here you see on DB2 host DB2 my databases are both the databases are standby so db1 the hadb1 this is the database name is standby and hadb2 is also standby now if i run lsm no resource group which means db2 iq or db2 cluster is not set up okay so no no cluster so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you this particular file which i have already set up so this is the file. So what I'm saying here is I'm going to create a domain called db2ha. My private network I'm going to use at one at one 101 which is pointed to db1 and 102 which is pointed to db2. I'm using this particular IP and I'm going to create the uh, network. My quorum is uh, network using this particular IP. So this is the IP for the network quorum. I am adding these two nodes into the domain. I am adding this particular instance, the partition number 0, this is this instance and I am saying this particular database local on db1, remote on db2, 
and this particular database again local on db1 and this one and what i'm also saying is for hadb1 for hadb1 configure this as vip and for hadb2 configure this as vip so if you see my naming convention is pretty similar 101 for db1 102 for db2 so the last number 22 my quorum is 1.1 and my vip is 111 for db1 and 112 for db2 so for db2 my quorum uh, my vip is 112 so this is the file now if i show you this particular file on second node exactly everything will remain the same except for the fact that here i have just reverse so this particular file is exactly same on both the nodes except for the fact that i have just reverse this remote host and local host and rest rest all this file is exactly same you don't have to change anything in this particular file apart from this particular two entries remote host local host so this is the name and if you are using different different instances for hdb then you have to mention what is the remote instance and local instance i am using the same data uh, the instance name on both and hence my local instance and remote instance is same so let let's again explain so this is the domain name this is the network quorum i'm you adding the at one into private network on both the host so db1 and db2 then i'm adding these two nodes then after that i'm adding this particular partition num or the instance then i'm adding this database i'm adding this database for this particular database i'm configuring this as a vip and for this particular database i'm configuring this as a vip now we need to execute this on standby first so let's again use our hadr guest status to find out which if this is the db2 is standby so yes db2 is standby both the databases hadb1 and hadb2 both the databases are standby on this particular node which is db2 so let's execute the db2 haiku command minus f then the file name so we are going to execute this particular command on node 2 where both the databases are standby so first what it will do it is going to create a domain after that quorum then instance is going to add the db partition num 0 once it adds then it is going to configure sorry uh, is going to add the domain then it is going to create the network quorum then is going to add the uh, network uh, ip then it's going to create the uh, add the instance partition num 0 and then it's going to create add the databases so let's give it a minute while it does this once we run this particular command here what we have to do is we have to run exactly same on our primary okay so the quorum then network interface again network interface then the partition num followed by databases the two databases okay so that's done now let me clear the screen and show you the output of lsm so yes we can see that our instance is added and our ip is added so now what we have to do is we have to run exactly similar command on our primary or db1 so let's come here and what we will do i'll show you that this is indeed a primary okay so this is a primary and i'm going to run on primary is going to start with quorum because the domain is already been created and then it's going to try to add the at ips uh, network ips but it will say it has been ad already added then it's going to configure the instance and then it's going to configure the two databases it will start with a quorum then it will try to add the ips but it will say ips have already been added then it will try to yeah then it will try to add the partition num then it will configure the two databases okay 
now it's going to try to add the databases let's come here and let's run lsm again because it's doing the configuration the lsm might take few seconds to run okay the database first one was added okay so we got the first one and we should see vip as well okay let's give it a minute and now it's trying to add the second database so what how it is doing this is basically using that particular file so i'll just show you this particular file so this is the file i have configured and this is the important section here where i have configured the vip for first databases and the vip for the second database in the same instance so this is the same instance called db2p so i am adding two databases and i and i am saying i want to configure this vip for hadb2 and this vip for hadb1 so okay so everything seems to be done successfully now let's run lsm here and you see i have got now network nodes and then the vip 112 which is offline on host db2 and this is the database again offline on node 2 because on node 2 they are standby so currently vip is pointing to node 1 so vip is online vip is online on db1 similarly vip 111 vip is online on db1 why both the vips are pointing to db1 so even this vip and this vip both are pointing to db1 is because on this particular host db1 both the databases are primary so whenever the databases are prime primary so if you see here the hadb1 so the database hadb1 is primary and hadb2 is primary so hence both the vips 111 and 111 2 both are point online in db1 which means they are pointing to db1 so looks like our cluster configuration is successful we have successfully created a domain and uh, we have successfully added at ip quorum everything seems to be okay so what i will do now is i will take over this particular database on the db2 so once i do the takeover for this particular database i will make this hadb2 primary on this particular host the vip here will become offline and it will become online on db2 the, that which may and this particular vip will still remain active on db1 so now what will happen when i do the takeover for hadb2 the vip from here will go down and it will become it will come up on host db2 so let's do that so let me come here let me clear the screen and let me get the status so both are standby i'm going to take over the second database called hadb2 so this particular database i'm going to make it primary so db2 take over hadr on db hadb2 Let's give it a minute. Once that takeover is completed, okay. Now I'm going to run the same command. So now HADB1 will be still be standby, but HADB2 will become primary. So HAD so HADB2 here HADB2 was standby. Now HADB2 is primary here it was standby here it has become primary the reason is we have done the takeover and let's see the output of lsm so here it shows that on the 112 which is pointing to hadb2 is online offline on db2 
when I do this again, I should be able to see that the 111 is still online on DB1, but 112 is now online on DB2. So let's do that. And you see my 112 has come online on DB2. Previously that was online on DB1. So 112 was online on DB1. Now 112. 2 is online on db2 so why because now hadb2 this particular database is primary on db2 so vip also got moved automatically so right now what we have done is we have successfully configured the vip and we can see that vip is moving along with the uh, database wherever the database is primary the vip will point to that particular node 111 is still primary on db1 so 111 is still primary on db1 while 112 is is pointing to db2 because hadb2 this this particular database is now primary on db2 what we will do now is i'll show you that i do not have any alternate server configuration so let's configure alternate server now the point is since we have configured the VIP, we have to specify the alternate alternate server host name as the VIP address. So VIP address for this HADB1 is 192.168.1.111. So this is the VIP address. So for this particular database, I will be specifying the alternate source server host name as 192.168.1.11. While for this HADB2, I will be saying this IP. So we have to specify the VIP IP. Now VIP is same. So on the both the servers, the alternate server will remain the same. So I'm on DB1 now. So what I'll do, I will use this particular command and I will do run this command on both the nodes. So let me, so now I'm on DB1. Let me run this. And let me do the terminate to refresh the cache now i'll go to db2 let me clear this so i'm on db2 now and i'll run this same command again and let me do the terminate so what i've done <coughs> i have configured 111 as a vip for hadb1 sorry alternate server for this one and 112 and x this is the vip which is pointing to hadb1 now we are using that as a alternate server the port is the instance port. So where the data, database is listening, that is the port. So now that we have configured the VIP, let's actually check the output of db2 list db directory. So here we should be able to see that for hadb1, the VIP is 1.111 or alternate server. This is the VIP and hence it is been configured under alternate server and for hadb2 1.1. 112 so that's what that's what i said 111 will be the vip for hadb1 and that vip we have to place into the alternate server now that now that we have configured the vip uh, and acr okay so the vip was already configured using db2 haiku now we have configured acr and same exactly same 111 and 112 same we have configured here as well so on db1 also it is 1.111 so same address if it was not tsa vip then you would specify here the host name which is the second host so here you will mention on db1 you will put the ip of db2 and on db2 you will put the ip of db1 vice versa but now what we are going to do here is we are going to configure the vip vip address and vip address is same for the database so here also for hadb1 on db1 so this host the the alternate server is 1.111 while on db2 also on this host also the vip is uh, the alternate server is vip which is 1.111 for this particular database and similarly for this particular database so now that we have configured vip now what i'll do is i'll go to another uh, instance called that is i have configured one more instance called db2c okay not db2c db2s so let me clear this and and let me do the if there are any database or nodes okay okay so there is no database directory as well as there is no node directory so everything is empty no node no database 
what i'll do is now i will use this particular command to catalog the database and so what i'm using here is the vip address so i'm cataloging the node and i'm cataloging this node for hadb1 i'm using the vip address and hadb2 i'm using this vip address and then i'm cataloging the databases first i'm cataloging the node and then i'm cataloging the database so let me clear this and let me do this so everything seems to be successful so now if i run those two commands db2 list db directory so i got these two databases hadb1 and hadb2 and if i do list node directory clear okay so here this is my vip address so vip address for hadb1 vip address for hadb2 so that's what i have done now what i am going to do is i'm going to initiate one transaction called insert so let me just show you this particular script what is that script so here i'm just basically connecting to this particular database called hadb1 right now that hadb1 is primary where it is primary it is primary on my node 1 so let me just do let me do ssh to db1 and let me run this hdr get status so my hdb1 is primary on host db1 so on db1 this particular database is primary so what i'm doing is i'm connecting to that particular database so when i connect to hdb1 i actually is going to connect to db1 then i'm going to just i'm going to connect only once so there is no connect anymore so i'm going to connect to this i'm going to drop this particular table if it already exists then i'm going to create this particular indexes and all that stuff and what i'm doing is i'm just running a loop while loop and i'm inserting this particular records close to 50000 times and every 100 i'm just giving the value like every 100 give me what is the count so this particular count starts from zero what is the count and what is the records that i have inserted so every 100 i am basically and i am not doing the commit i am doing the commit every 100 so i am after every 100 inserts i am doing the commit so uh, basically we will start with zero and we will keep on inserting records so what i will do is let me just run this particular script okay so while it's running the script it's also going to show us one thing is which host we are connected to so right now we are connected to hadb1 and we are inserting so if you see i have inserted 300 records and my count is also 400 i have inserted 500 records my count is also 500 and i am on host db1 so why i'm on host db1 because my database so if i come here my hadb1 so i have connected to hadb1 so let me just show you that particular script again so let i have to go to get insert okay so this is the script here i'm connecting and i'm starting with count is equal to zero and i'm inserting this records i'm not doing the commit i'm doing the commit every hundred after every hundred i'm doing a commit then i'm telling give me the count of this particular variable at the same time give me the count of how many records inserted in this particular table along with that what i'm also saying is give me the host name using this particular view sysibm adm view i'm asking give me the name of the host and this is where so my connect is done only once i'm connecting and then i'm running this while loop and while it is doing that so basically i have inserted 3500 records so so you see count count and the records from the table matches 3700 3700 3700 3000 3800 3009 so my count and my my count while as well as my <coughs> records is matching and currently i am pointing to db1 my database is host name is db1 so that's where i'm currently connected the reason of that is pretty simple because if i exit and if i do hadr get status my hadb1 is primary what i'll do now is i will go to node 2 so now i'm on node 2 and i will take over so i will make this particular hadb1 
primary here on DB2. So uh, this particular database, while my transaction is running, so while my transaction is running, so I'm not going to do anything. I already made a connection. The connection is only done once. The while loop is currently running. While the connection is running, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the takeover. So I'm going to do the takeover. Now, while that is happening, you see here, just 6,900 is my count. It seems to have stopped. So my query, my insert is not moving. Now you see the difference, 69027. So where those 100 records got missed? And you can see my host name is changed. Here it was DB1. Here it was DB1. Now it has changed to DB2. Why? And how did this got connected? So this got connected because of the combination of WIP and ACR. So what has happened is now if I show you my HADB1 is now primary on host 2. So this is let me I'm on host DB2. Here I am standby. So on HADB1 this particular database is primary here which is on host db2 and hence this particular query is telling me that my host where I am connected is db2 while there is miss of some records. So at when that particular transaction was running when I did the takeover that particular transaction got rolled back but because of WIP and ACR my connection got established to the new primary which was the old standby. So automatically my connection. So right now it is showing that I am pointing to db2.db.com. Why, why I'm pointing to this particular host is because this particular database is primary on this particular machine. So what I will do now is once again we'll do the takeover. So to do to the takeover, I need this particular command, but I need to execute this from primary so now let me show you so i am on db1 this is standby this particular database is standby so this particular database is standby so hadb1 is standby on db1 now currently my transactions are running there is a mix of 100 records the reason is while the takeover was happening that particular transaction got rolled back then it continued by connecting automatically i'm going to do again from i'm going to move this database from db2 currently it is on db2 i'm going to move it to db1 so i'm going to do the takeover and i'm going to make this particular database called hadb1 this particular database i'm going to make it primary on db1 once I do this, this particular transaction, you should see that it moves back to DB1 and there is, there will be some miss of this. So right now there is a difference of some 98 records. You should see that there will be a miss of close to 200 records and that miss is because while the takeover is happening, that particular transaction will get rolled back. So let's do that. Okay, while well, it's doing, now it's stopped, the transaction is stopped host name is db2 so i'm currently on this particular host okay so and you see now i'm connected to db1 and there is a miss of close to 485 585 to 700 so there is a miss of some 100 plus transactions so that particular transaction got rolled back and we continued from the we are now connected to so the transaction will automatically connect so the database connection remains it will persist the whip gets moved and the transaction that particular transaction will get rolled back the next transaction will continue so this is how the whip and acr works so to uh, show you that configuration so let me just show you this is the sample file that i have used to configure this everything remains same only thing that we need to worry about this particular part where i have configured two databases and for each database I have configured a WIP. For this database I have configured a WIP. And at the same time 
once the VIP is configured, I have configured, I have configured the alternate server using this particular command. And while configuring the alternate server, I have used the VIP which was configured for this particular database and VIP for this particular database. So that's what I have done. Hope this tutorial was useful to you. Uh, do pass in comments and thanks for watching. Bye bye.